Tamara Monosoff invented what is called the TP saver. Monosoff invented the TP saver. The TP saver. This is, what is it called? The TP saver. A way to baby-proof your toilet paper roll. And that led to starting up a company, Mom Inventors, Inc. She held a number of high-power positions in the Clinton administration. Now she's the first lady of inventions, having developed MomInventors.com. We are all about helping moms achieve their goals and helping them bring their ideas to market. We actually credit her on our package. With the Mom Invented brand, we actually credit the mom for her great idea on all of our packaging. It's an age-old dilemma for many mothers stay at home with the kids or have a career. What happens when high-energy, super-achieving women in the workforce choose to stay home and raise their children? I think that there are many inventive moms that just they have great ideas. I think it's an untapped market of intelligence out there. It's called the Pee Wee Buddy. The nurse's nursing shawl. It is called a tinkle target, is that right, tomorrow? Well, it makes potty training really fun, and the boys absolutely love going potty. What we came up with is a better up target. You stick um, this in. Tamara Monosov has a gigantic <laughs> show for you. Oh She's the founder oh of Thank you Mom so Inventors Inc., the author of the Mom uh, Inventors Handbook. Uh, we'll put our Mom Inventor brand on it, we'll put your picture on it so that we can acknowledge you for your great idea. And then this book, Mom Inventor's Handbook. The Mom Inventor's Handbook. Mom Inventor's Handbook. How to turn your great idea into the next big thing. And I must mention that our, the foreword was written by our own Soledad O'Brien. This is the book, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like one, go to Barnes & Noble or Amazon and get it. But if you're in our audience, you're taking one home. The Mom Inventor's Handbook. We'll be right back. Right Mom Monosoft, projected 2,000 gross. Two million! Tamara Monosoff is here. Hey, look what sold out. Our sandwich cutters. He's making money. I'm here to say that other moms can do it too. We're back with Tamara Monosoff, author of Secrets of Millionaire Moms. <laughs> Secrets of Millionaire Moms is available at bookstores everywhere. Tamara, such a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me. Where were you when I had small kids? Please welcome Tamara Monosoff. Boldness and creativity are about taking risks overcoming unexpected obstacles and not judging the outcome too soon. I was struggling to manage parenthood, the hardest job I had ever had. Harder than 16 hour days in the White House, harder than being at the university with dozens of papers to write, and harder than marriage. And then my 10 month old daughter Sophia started to pull the toilet paper, which of course I thought was charming until she clogged the toilet. She led us by example, showing us how you can reinvent yourself and that you have to take risks and work hard. Little did they know that I was conducting business for my family van, child in the back seat, smashed bean and cheese burrito in my pants, and a poopy diaper sitting on the passenger seat amongst all my papers. <laughs> Taking the risk and saying, here I come. Let, let the world be prepared for me. What is your dream for yourself? What changes do you want to create in your life? The best part for me is that it was truly inspirational to get to know someone like Tamara who turned out to be someone to down, so down to earth. Now more than ever, the whole earth needs our creativity. When you say yes to your next bold steps in shaping your life, you are going to inspire everyone around you. Writing a plan will give you a sense of direction. Can you imagine driving from Chicago to California without a road map? I don't even drive two miles in Los Angeles without the help of MapQuest. <laughs> so this is the same thing for your business. I'm gonna tell you seven creative ways to finance your business. I have used every single one of these myself. I've spoken to many other women who also see this as a common path. Fear is real. And we all have fear for different reasons. Fear of failure, fear of financial loss, fear of disappointing your friends and your family or yourself if you don't succeed. Even fear of success. Debbie Davis, who is a single mother of two. She had actually gone bankrupt and she took her, her expensive wristwatch. 
She sold it to buy her first batch of vitamins to launch her company, Fit America, which she built to $45 million. Terry Galt, a mother of two who had three jobs and could not make ends meet, and she had an idea for an internet-based business called thegrocerygame.com, and she used rolled coins to purchase her business license. She got a free computer by signing up for a two-year contract with an internet service provider, and in just a few years, she has built her company to $6 million so far. Maria Sabrino, an immigrant from Mexico, she was a divorced mother of two and had to support her family. So she started to make gelatin desserts in her kitchen and she drove them around and sold them on consignment to mom and pop shops. She now owns her own factory in Los Angeles. She employs hundreds of people and she makes 60, 60 million units of dessert a year. Criticism is the killer of dreams. So don't let this happen and speak boldly and now without any explanations or apologies, turn to the person next to you and taking turns, speak with intention about your dream and say my dream is to or I intend to. You have a minute. My sister um, dreaming of more volunteering. What I do is grow herbs and sell them. but. How would I go about picking one type of thing or what should I do that would promote my little farm or because it's such a varied of what I do that you've made me think, do I need one product? Definitely to do it having kind of an anchor product is a great way to get the word out. I thought I was insane. I really did. I thought something was wrong with me. You know, and I said, and I just said to my girlfriend, I said, oh, I'm not crazy. Everything she set up there, I've been doing. And then <laughs> she tells me, well, didn't I tell you you wasn't crazy? Yeah, but you don't matter. Now that you said it, now I know I'm sane. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much.